And have a look at this. Is that bone? I'm not sure if it's bone or wood. There's a bit over there, over here, and a really nice one there. And some more back there. I'm not sure how big the concretion is or the rock is. But yeah, that might be worth taking back. working on this plesiosaur bone block um, which I don't think is a rib, it's probably the ilium, the um, pelvic pelvic bones of it. You know I glued this part back over here now I've got another crack <laughs> that I'm dealing with here so I've decided just to take these bits of rock off um, so I can start doing, using a bit of acid to prep it. The problem with acid prep is you don't really want cracks because the acid will go in there and you know start affecting bits you don't want it to affect. Luckily I've got a really good idea where the bones are. I know there's no, no bones hidden over here. I do have a trace fossil at the back here, which I want to keep intact. So you see that, um, that little, it might be a burrow or something, but I want to keep that trace fossil intact. What I've decided to do is split the two and then I can acid prep them and have a bit more control of where the acid goes because I didn't want it to go into these you know these cracks so I'm going to try and fill up um, the cracks that I can see um, with this really thick super glue this filler um, and then I'll put it in 10% acetic acid let's give that a go
two weeks now since I started acid prepping that block of plesiosaur bones. It's had about 12 cycles now on the acid, so let's go look at the progress. And here it is. You can see the bones are quite nicely exposed now. They're pretty much out of the rock. Just the bottoms of them are still in the rock. This top piece is still loose, but you can see these little bits of bone, especially that one, they've come out really nicely. I think I've removed enough rock now. You can see this vertebra there. It's pretty much just sitting on top of the rock now. Those two there have also come out quite nicely. And that little piece there. I think there's at least two or three vertebrae in here. That definitely looks like one and that one as well. That could be a paddle bone. This might be a partial vertebra, but I've got the, the impression the bone left that's missing over there. So someone can maybe one day take a mold of that and the same over here. I've kept that impression in that one over there. And that might be useful in the future. You know, if someone used some latex, they could take a make a mold of that. And I've kept it by keeping it covered in the B72 so the acid doesn't affect it. Otherwise it would, you know, remove most of that mold over there. I think it's time for the landscaping, and then we're done with this one. Once I'm done with it, I'll send it off to a few universities, see if we can learn something from it. That's an hour of smoothing out <laughs> the scribe marks. I could probably spend another hour, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, smooth enough, <laughs> I think. And I've also heard back from the plesiosaur expert I emailed. He's pretty sure this is a juvenile elasmosaur. Um, so a baby plesiosaur. Elasmosaur is just a subspecies of plesiosaur. And there's one, two, three vertebrae. And this is where the other vertebrae would have been. Um, unsure about that piece but that could be a piece of the paddle bone and that could either be from the pelvis or a rib so that's pretty exciting and the reason he thinks it's a juvenile is just because of how small these vertebrae are and these would have been the vertebrae very close to their skull so that skull should be out there somewhere and I don't think it would have been very big maybe you know a foot or so uh, they're not very big, the plesiosaur skulls, in relation to the body. Yeah, it was an interesting prep. The, the cracks in the, the actual concretion or in the rock made it really difficult with the acid. I had to fill up these cracks with a bit of glue just to stop the acid from going in there and wrecking a bit of havoc. But yeah, happy with the way it turned out. Another plesiosaur prep. <laughs> I'm keen to find a mosasaur one day. Uh, the mosasaur probably preyed on the plesiosaur, so there should be a few around. Next step for this block, and it's got nine bones in it that I can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is I'll get in touch with my local museum, see if they want it, uh, otherwise I'll just store it until um, it can be studied further. Also the reason I've left this bone in the rock is there's a, the imprint of this bone is on top here, so I'm going to not destroy that, I'm going to leave that as is in case we ever want to take a mold of it one day. Thanks so much for joining me everyone for that prep. It's always fun prepping these really old fossils. This is probably about 80 million years old based on the area it was found in. Yeah, and it's always, it's always exciting to see what comes out. 
Stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next hunt.